see I've got a bonus guitar lesson for you I uh, just came up with a small variation on a pretty common guitar lick and I want to show you what I came up with because I think it's cool I'm playing over an E minor progression courtesy of Gary Moore it's uh, it's all in the key center of E minor it's e, an E chord a B power chord a D power chord and uh, there's two endings the first ending is ABC so it's like then it does the same thing and then the ending is another three note ending which is A, G, F sharp the second half would be so that's what I've got in my loop pedal now the thing I want to show you is a scale phrase that you've excuse me a scale phrase that you've probably heard before this this sort of thing that no, sorry. Even if you haven't heard it, you can predict. It's a very mathematical kind of phrase. And that's a nice way to work through, to make a, a scale shape a little less uh, predictable. You're not going straight up and down, you're doing a pattern inside of it. But uh, what I'd like to do is that pattern in E minor with one note missing on purpose. And the note I'm going to leave out is the C note. And let me show you how I'm going to do it. Basically, it's, it's going to make it easier to play, I think. Because all we have to do is play this same shape, which is this, these two whole steps, G, I'm sorry, D, E, and F sharp. 10th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret. And the same thing on the next string. That's our shape. And then we put the pattern inside of it. Like that. Just try that a couple times. I'll slow it down a little bit. All alternate picking. All right. And one time really slow just to make sure. Three, four. I think you got it. It's all alternate picking. I think I said that. And uh, normally, if we were just going to stay within that strict E minor scale, the next one would be. But I'm going to skip that one, and I'm going to go instead. So this will be a two-note chord, and I really suggest the fingering of using your first two fingers like that. So your first finger is on the 12th fret, D note, and your second finger is on the 14th fret, B note. So let's insert that at the end, like this. Three, four. Melodically, I kind of, I think that sounds nice over that E minor. Contrast that with this one. That one in its place can be nice, but I think when you hear the the backing track, you'll you'll agree with me that you, that this one's a little melodically more appealing in this context. Or I get it right. So that's the trick: is to have to switch from this position, where you're doing the stretch, to that that hand position. There's a little shift there. And once you're there, you can start over doing exactly what you did before with these same whole steps. Let me show you two without the patterns, just... That was the same thing you played down here. You're studying on the same note, D, up an octave, and doing the same whole step. And then we do the pattern. 
So all together we've got three, four. Get ready to shift. Here it is. All right, now right there we're gonna do that little two note shift again. Remember that was this. But to do it up an octave, our strings are tuned differently, so we've got to change the shape from a whole step stretch to just a half step stretch. That just gets easier. There it is, the same notes, but an octave higher. You can hear how they're the same. So that is going to be our, our tool for getting to the next position, which is exactly the same as we played here, and exactly the same as we played here. Let's go back up again, just to refresh our memory of those shapes and then do a pattern, like that. So remember how we got into it, we did a two note pattern first, like that. So all together, super slow. One, two, three, four. Here's the shift into the new pattern. Here's the shift right here into the new pattern. And I'm going to end it with a bend. I said new pattern, but it's just the same pattern, but up an octave. So it's really not, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a shift in octave, but I was busy playing it, so I couldn't think of the word. All right, so let's put that all together. And if we put that over our, our, um, our riff here, it sounds pretty cool. Three, four. <laughs> All right, I'm digging that. Now, of course, I'm hitting this hard. I, I, I think um, Gary Moore was a hard, aggressive player, so I'm, I'm really hitting those strings. You know? All right, so it's uh, it's summertime. So uh, give that some give that some heat. All right, and if it's, uh, I just remembered that below the equator, it's wintertime. So uh, if it is, still give it some heat. All right, thank you very much. Enjoy that lesson. Mm -hmm.